to in the morning you will not believe what just happened let me get to the hotel hi guys welcome and welcome back to my channel hello if you're new here i'm daphne you guys if i tell you what happened i hope i'm not exaggerating but i don't think i am to be honest kenya airways needs to get their shit together like honestly i've used the airline quite a couple of times i've been disappointed all those times that i have used the airline and this time around i was like okay you know what this is the only available flight let me just take it i take the flight i had a connection from mombasa to nairobi the flight was at eight i got to the airport at six i checked in i was right on time i think I don't even know what happened i don't know but i know that their pilots are striking i think they're not strike i don't know if it's just the pilots or the whole whole staff we left mombasa at 11 10 i think 11 10 11 20. my connection from nairobi to entebbe was at midnight that means i missed the flight i missed the connection and i wasn't the only one we were like very many there's this family i think there were like 30 people i had the guy saying there were 30 people they had kids it was three in the morning they had to get them a hotel i was just like okay what's going on they had no choice but to put their kids to sleep on the baggage carcel like as if that was a fine they get us the hotel then we had to wait in the bus for a very long time the driver was taking rounds he was picking up people and dropping them i don't know where we get to the hotel at like three something i had to be up by six that said they would get us a flight so i sleep for less than two hours get up wait for the van to pick me up we were halfway through the journey someone called the lady who was driving us to the airport and said the flight had been cancelled so that she had to bring us back to the hotel that's like at six something at this point i wasn't even angry that i had missed the flight or something i was angry that i was very exhausted through the night trying to find us a hotel taking time and i only rested for like an hour and a half then i had to come back this isn't funny this is not funny like no 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 first of all i don't have any luggage I only have my small carry-on. I do not know where my luggage is. I think it has already been checked in Twentebe. So I am here. <sighs> I had to get up, go look for a shop, buy toothpaste, buy deodorant, buy like a toothbrush, you know, those small, small essentials. But <laughs> child. But you know what? I refuse to have a bad day. I refuse to have a bad day because they do not know when there's going to be flights like they don't know so we're just there i do refuse to have a bad day so i'm gonna go out and you know just try to do something yeah something fun i don't want to be in this hotel room and then you know get depressed and bored so let's go my phone has no space so this is what i use to record the vlog so i'm gonna move some of the videos to my laptop and i'll head out Wait, the hotel we were given is uh western it's not too far from the airport it's it's okay it's okay i really expected worse i won't lie but it's fine um i found this restaurant on google i think it's called big big but yeah that's where i'm going ready let's go this is the hotel to be honest, it's not bad. Guys, you see all these people? They missed the flight. We're gonna. And there's a cutie bride! Heading out, I had left the other lady with my contact. You can kindly give me a call in case there's any uh, 
communication from the airline. Can you believe this whole time I've been trying to request for an Uber, yet the restaurant is right opposite my hotel. Let me show you. That's where the restaurant is, right opposite my hotel. Ah, oh, I'm so dumb. I'm not looking my best. I feel like I'm very disorganized. But we move. I can't explain how much I hate walking. For me, this is like a punishment. I hate walking. I hate walking. Hey! You know how to feed them? This. Then place it on their tongue. Not like this. Just one? Uh, yeah, one. Big one. Uh -huh. Hold it like this, then place it on your tongue. Okay. Oh, okay. Come on. Can't feed this one if you're scared because this one will start feeding here, but this one is very gentle. By the way, getting in here, the charge is 400 Kenya shillings for East Africa. Let's go to the next activity. I think I'm gonna go contrasting. wear this uniform and my race is after bed bum 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 nani <laughs> I'm a racer, not a mechanic for today. Yeah, the most of them are same size. Same size racing, same size. Then there's this. For your head. I, I, I can feel the blood 
blood creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gon' feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I got eyes in the back of my head, I'm seeing Take me for granted and you know I'm leaving I'ma take what's mine with the webs I'm weaving I could take this crap from seeing to believing Got a taste for blood and my tongue keeps bleeding From the words I spit, so sharp, so freezing So cold, behold, frostbite they feeling I could tear you apart or I could go heal them Don't believe in fate, don't believe in ceilings I just need a taste and my mind starts peeling I don't pace myself, I grind on no kneeling Got lust for change, I just love the feeling uh. I ain't gonna give up Got too little time, I'ma live up Head down, push forward through the tough times Cause anything worth doing is a tough climb buy myself something to wear tomorrow i do not know when i'll be leaving this place and i can't keep wearing these clothes yep I was at just bought the ugliest clothes. Um, going back to the hotel, I'm waiting for my Uber. It's so cold. Have you like ever bought something not because you want to buy it but because you need it? I've bought clothes but I really don't like them. I think these are like the ugliest clothes I've ever bought. I'm sorry to say. It's like only one pair of shorts that I think I kind of like, but I also don't like it as much. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys something. So today morning, uh, as we were checking out to go to the airport before the flight could cancel, there's this Nigerian guy, very short guy that I met at the lobby. And you know, he was just like trying to ask me questions, telling me, yeah, I want to get to know you. Where are you from? I was so angry. I hate people who talk in the morning. Like, where do you even get the energy? Why are you trying to speak to me at 6 a.m. after whatever had happened? Like, really? When you see a short man, slap him. Let me show you what I got. I got this uh, bralette. It's actually... It's a gym bra, but I'll just wear it because I got big shirts and this as well. It's also like a gym bra. It's also a gym bra, but I just got it so I can wear it with my big shirts. I got these sandals because my shoes are getting dirty and I mean, no one's going to wash them for me. So these are the shirts that I think I like. I think I like these. Um, I'm a fan of big shirts. I'm a fan of big shirts, so I just got this orange shirt and this. I hope these are enough to just like take me through. I don't know when I'm leaving. So sick and tired of this place. Let me tell you, I only have a carry on, right? I don't have any other luggage. So in the morning when I got up to go buy, you know, toothpaste, toothbrush, santiliners, deodorant and all that stuff, I just like, I could not walk with them in my carry-on because the bag isn't that big. So I left them in the bathroom. Tell me why. I think the people who cleaned maybe thought I'd checked out. And they took my things. So I have to buy them again. Bro, like, life needs to release me. Good morning. It's the next day. You're
having sausage, a donut, some cookies, pineapples, watermelon, and juice. And that's my breakfast for you. See, the clothes I bought yesterday saved me. I know I pulled them ugly, but I'm wearing them. They're mine anyway. <laughs> So the way she has come and asked me if I have a YouTube channel, she might have been wondering why is she recording herself? Why is she talking to the phone? I received a call, so I think my flight is on. But I hope you enjoyed this vlog. It was all my 24 hours in Nairobi. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um, travel tip, by the way, get travel insurance always and in your carry-on just like make sure you carry a tote bag like a bigger tote bag something that's gonna accommodate let me say a small perfume oil lotion small amounts for panties all essentials just have them in your carry-on they're gonna save you a lot otherwise i'm ready to go back home as you can so the bus is here i'm the only one in this huge bus but um so yeah. the good thing is that the the airline provides the hotel that's bed and breakfast and they make sure they get you a driver to show up from your hotel so they don't forget about you in case you're worried i think if i were to rent the hotel i'd give them like an eight out of ten the food's good they're very clean the rooms are okay um also the service providers are really really kind um I would recommend definitely. Anyways, bye guys.